The average life of a particular brand of car battery is four years and four months. Stop. See how you've got your normal distribution. Okay, if yours looks like mine and it's all busy and full right now, just draw yourself a rough new one. But on it, I need you to put down this. Oops. We know what X bar is now. We know what that means. They just told us it's four years and four months. Okay, that's really important that we ground all of this stuff in the information of the question. It then goes on to say, with a standard deviation of eight months. So now, I'm going to look at this, and instead of saying, okay, plus a standard deviation, plus two standard deviations, now I know what they're talking about. They're talking about amounts of time. Okay, so keep reading with me. The manufacturer guarantees to replace any battery that does not last three years. Okay, now we need to come back to the diagram. And if you haven't drawn yourself a new little normal distribution, now is the time to do it. I'm just going to hijack this old one of mine. I need to know, where is three years on this diagram? Uh, is it less or is it more than the mean? Less. It's less, which makes sense. You'd hope that not many would be you know, that, that short. So I'm going to go over this side of the diagram below the mean, and I want to think about how far do I need to go before I get to three years. So I'm going to do it one standard deviation at a time, just so I don't get confused. If I take the mean, subtract eight months, uh, there are how many months in a year? Twelve months. Okay. So if I take four off, then I've got to take another four off. Four months gets me to four years. Another four months gets me to three years and eight, eight months. months. So that, do you see on my diagram, that's one standard deviation below the mean. Now to get to three years, which is what they actually say in the question, I've got to go a second standard deviation down. Does that make sense? Yeah. You can see I've got eight months here. Here's another eight months. So here are all the batteries that last exactly three years longer. Right? Or three years longer. So if it's exactly three years, yep. you have to replace it. Well, let's read the question and find out what's going on. The manufacturer guarantees to replace any battery that doesn't last three years. Now, when it comes to like, is it on three years or is it like two years and 364 days? That's a fair question, but it's not really the intent of what's being asked here. We're not looking for that level of granularity and detail. We want to get, do we understand the proportions of what's happening? <coughs> Do you, do you have to specify? Like, you mean in the question? Like, because if the question is either, do you, as the person doing the question, have to specify so that... I think it'll speaking? emerge as we're going through. By the way, if you're not following, the question we're being asked is... The question I'm being asked is... Um, does it matter if it's, like, exactly three years? Or what if it's, like, a bit more or on the dot? I think as you go through the question, you're going to realize we don't really have enough information at our disposal. And remember, a lot of these are approximations anyhow, that it doesn't really matter. Like when you think about a difference of a day, the, the difference will be trivial. All right, let's continue. When it says doesn't last three years, can you have a look at my normal distribution and tell me where is that on the graph? Which are the batteries that are not lasting three years? Years. Where are they? Very the ones to the left. The okay. here, are the, section. here are the ones that make it to three years. And then to the left of those are all the ones that don't make it, right? So these guys over here are the ones I'm interested in. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the question then says, here's the actual question. If the life of these batteries is normally distributed, which is a relief because I'm doing this on a normal distribution the whole time, Approximately what percentage could the manufacturer expect to replace? Okay, help me. So what I'm noticing is, I'm, I'm going from minus two, a Z score of minus two, that's where this is, right? And then I want everyone down here to the left. Does that make sense? Like everything, not just this little portion here. I'm going all the way down to, if there's one which, you know, is 11 and cuts up the day, the first day out of the factory, I'm including that as well. Okay, yeah. So if you so include the 2.35%, mm -hmm. that we were going to, would that plus up to more with every? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So it's a great 
question. Just now we were working out this little black area, right? Which because it's symmetrical, that black area is the same as this one, right? But I'm also going to need to include this little slice over here that isn't within these standard deviations. Does that make sense? So I can either do it from the fact that I know what the little black bit is and then add on something. Um, but honestly, I don't expect anyone to remember that 2.35% number. And it was just a coincidence that we worked that out. So I'm going to show you how to work it out from scratch. Okay. Within two standard deviations, which color am I here? Is it 68, 95, or 99.7? 95. It's this one, right? This is two standard deviations. Okay. So if this is 95, what's on the outside? 99. I didn't, I didn't ask the question very clearly. Um, what is not included within the 95 must be 5. That's the difference, right? But 5's on both sides, right? 5's on both sides. So therefore, since I only want this half, it's 2.5, right? So 2.5% of batteries, okay, they last less than 3 years. Not for the warranty, huh? Okay. So, this is my answer now. 